The village of Ruidoso is facing another round of damaging floods, forcing evacuations. Earlier today, emergency officials issued a flash flood warning urging residents to seek higher ground after roads quickly became dangerous. News 13's Jessica Baron shows you. Feet of water rushing through the village of Ruidoso after heavy rains. Backyards and streets quickly turned to lakes and rushing rivers, prompting evacuation orders. There, there's water on the ground, and of course the ground is pretty well soaked already. Um, we do have hail mixed in with the rain, so that's adding another layer of, of frustration to everything that goes on. So it, it's, it's a little rough to even consider how much damage this will do at the end. The U.S. National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning for the area until around 4 this afternoon. Michael Scales from Lincoln County Emergency Services says the recent burn scars from the Salt and South Fork fires have made it easier for the area to flood. Evacuations were ordered for areas including Cedar Creek, Upper and Brady Canyon, and Hull. Roads and bridges were also closed due to dangerous driving conditions. We did have uh, one person that was caught in the water uh, in a vehicle and, and has been removed. They were driving down the street and the water caught them. Lincoln County Emergency Services says they have swift water rescue teams placed throughout the village and county. Earlier this afternoon, the village also reported the floods had caused gas leaks. County officials saying residents should stay on high alert. Everyone should be monitoring their telephones for weather alerts, keep their heads on a swivel, watching for storm clouds. And if the storms come in, they need to get the high ground as quickly as possible. Jessica Barron, CareQE News 13. At this hour, evacuations have been lifted. Lincoln County Emergency Services asked residents to also sign up for the local code red system in case of more evacuation orders. The village of Rudoso says they're clear clearing the upper canyon so homeowners can gather their belongings from 6 to 930 in the morning. The area, though, must be vacated by 10 in the morning as another flood is forecasted.